In this presentation we are going to look at uh, set theory and uh, Venn diagrams used in set theory. Now suppose we have a label Venn diagram depicting the regions A, B and C in such a way that they divide the universal set U into eight disjoint regions. Essentially that's the definition for a Venn diagram for uh, A, B and C, events A, B and C, sets A, B and C. So uh, the subset Y, which is a subset of U, is defined as follows. Y is the union of A and C minus B. So the parts, the, the regions that are in C only, are in C, but not in B. Uh, so what we're going to do is sketch the region Y on a Venn diagram, just sketch, uh, shade in the appropriate regions, and then we're going to construct a membership table. So let's do that. So here we have a, the definition there again. And what I'm going to do first off is I'm just going to draw out the universal set. So I'm going to just uh, nice lines here. That's the first one. Oops. Let's control that. Let's use the ruler again. So, there we go. Now, this is uh, the first part of our Venn diagram. That's the universal set. I'm going to put that a little U up here in the top corner just to signify that. I'm going to draw in our three regions, A, B, and C. So this is A here. This will be B, and down there we will have C, okay? Uh, let's just label those, A, B, and C. Now, uh, we have eight regions here. Uh, I'll just number them off quickly. This is not too important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight disjoint regions here in this Venn diagram. Now. What we have to do here is first off look at uh, the A and union C and B. So I'm going to start off with C minus B first off. And let's talk about those uh, regions there. So we I'm going to use green here again. So what we have to do is consider the regions of C uh, that are part of C but not part of B. And here it will co correspond to this region here, the fifth region as I had it put. Uh, down there and also this region down here okay so that's the first two that's C minus B what's shaded in there now the next thing that's all well good but this is also we have to consider the union uh, with A so I'm going to co uh, construct uh, uh, or include all of the regions that are part of A also and you might notice that some of them are actually included in B as well. They're, they're also parts of B. So it's actually, we have it these um, uh, the, these five shaded areas here, uh, not including one, four, and seven, essentially, all the other ones. And they, this actually corresponds to Y. So Y is this shaded area here, the, the, the area that's shaded in, in green. So, all this stuff here. Now, that's grand. So that that is, that uh, that is the subset of A that corresponds, a uh, subset of the union, uh, the universal set that corresponds to A union C minus B, all of these regions here. So, what we have to do now is consider uh, the uh, Venn diagram or the membership table for that. So I'm going to just sort of skip down to the next. Um, slide here. I'm going to sort of go back and forth here. So um, first off, does it include the regions outside A, B and C? No it doesn't. I'm going to put a zero there. Does it include the region that is C only? Uh, as in not part of A and not part of B? In that case it does. So it's going to be a one there. Does it include B only? Uh, the region that is B only? That is zero there does not include the region that is B only. Does it include the region uh, the uh, that is part of B and C but not part of A? Let's just go up and look at that here again. That would correspond to this region here. The answer to that is definitely not. So that's another zero. By the way, this is uh, this region of here is B only. This is the B only region. So Let's go back here. So that's a zero again. Now, it does include uh, all of 
the regions that are part of A. So the remaining four, if you just look at these to here, we have ones here. So these are all the regions that are part of A. And if you're, and again, it's everything that is in, 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 enclosed in A is part of Y. So this is our membership table there. It's the five regions we have counted uh, in the previous uh, in the uh, slide. And so that is the membership table there. So let's just confirm that. Zero, one, zero, zero, and then one, 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 one. And that ends our presentation.